Hi, I'm Hugo, and welcome to my World Machine tutorial series. In this video, I will further introduce myself, explain what World Machine is, talk about what you can expect from this series, and give a rough outline of how it's structured. So, let me introduce myself. I'm Hilke, also known as Hilke, and I'm a self-taught graphic designer from the Netherlands, and I've been using World Machine for over 8 years by now. I've made several products with and for World Machine, such as 3D terrain assets, mountain brushes, and macros for World Machine. I hope I can help you better your understanding of World Machine and make you more familiar with the software. First, what is World Machine? World Machine is a terrain generation software used mostly for the creation of 3D terrain. World Machine uses algorithms to generate terrain and then filters or effects to manipulate that generated terrain. Under the hood, World Machine is more like a highly specialized Photoshop, since you make terrain based on height maps. Height maps are grayscale images that store height information, in which black means zero and white means maximum height. Furthermore, World Machine is a node-based program, and the nodes in World Machine are called devices. In general, a device takes an input, does something with it, and then outputs that result. To use the same analogy as before, each node can be thought of as a filter or effect layer in Photoshop, taking the input, that is, the layers below it, manipulating it, and outputting the manipulated input. This is the core concept of World Machine, and it may seem weird at first, but node-based software is actually quite nice and easy to understand. In this tutorial series, I will try to teach you all the core concepts of World Machine, so you will have a firm understanding of the software and will be able to create your own terrain. Furthermore, I want to teach you some common workflow habits that I think will increase the quality of your terrain and better your experience while using World Machine. To achieve all that, this series will be structured as followed. I will begin with a broad introduction to World Machine, explaining the user interface, learning you how to tweak World Machine to your liking, getting familiar with the program, and an in-depth explanation of the devices. After that, there will be workflow tutorials, teaching you the core workflow of World Machine, best practices, some basic terrain, and how to export your terrain. Then, I will cover more advanced topics, such as complex terrain tutorials, texturing, and different solutions to the same problem broadening your knowledge base. And finally, I will talk about macros, explaining the importance, benefits and pitfalls of macros and how to design your own macros, teaching how to go from a repetitive process to a macro. That's it for the introduction of this tutorial series and I hope I can teach you something during the series and help you create better terrains. See ya!